The equation was simple for Australia on day four in Worcester. Take nine wickets in 90 overs and win the game. Easy, right? Wrong. The sun baked the already flat new road track, sapping all the life out of the centre square and the visitors' chances of victory. Wicket chances were rarer than old speckled hen's teeth before Pardo poked at one he shouldn't have, caught at first slip off the bowling of James Faulkner. Remember those rare chances? Well, they don't come any easier than this. Smith dropping a dolly at bat pad. Worcestershire offered nothing with the bat, keeping out the good ones and punishing the bad. Classic cricket. Faulkner would grab one more before the lunch interval, trapping Moeen Alley for 35. Harris, refueled after the 40 minute pit stop, ran over Cavazzi for two thanks to the help of an under edge. The midway point of the day had eyebrows raised as Australian coach Darren Lehman provided the men with cool beverages and moral support. Whatever he fed them didn't work, as Worcestershire delivered more punishment, on this occasion directly at Ed Cowan. The tourists wouldn't go down without a fight, first reasoning with the umpires and then pleading with them to no avail. Just when all hope seemed lost, Ryan Harris from around the wicket had Darrell Mitchell caught at mid-on for 54, giving Australia a sniff. Clark had one last roll of the dice, employing Phil Hughes for only his fourth over in first-class cricket, and he almost got a wicket against his English county side. It wasn't meant to be, though. Worcestershire batting out the day, with both sides calling it quits at 5 o'clock. <laughs>